Good morning, everyone in Mr. Arnold's CHC2D class. Today we are going to be looking at the Unit 3 Activity 5, which is the GRASP model, and how to create an effective final. So from Unit 3 Activity 5, you are going to open and make a copy of the GRASP model worksheet by clicking on the link in blue. The information on this worksheet you will obtain by looking at the resources within Unit 3 Activity 5. You are going to be assessing the strengths and weaknesses of secondary sources listed in the links and in the interactive below. There are examples made for you here. You are going to analyze those resources using the GRASP model worksheet. If you used the Canadian Encyclopedia, you would put the title for that source here. From that point, you would assess the strengths and weaknesses of that secondary source using the worksheet. Let's take a look at the example of the Battle of Hong Kong by clicking on one of the resources in the interactive below. You can see that if you hover over a title, the hand appears indicating that that is a link that leads somewhere. Within these interactives, there may be an arrow at the bottom that you can click through, or dots that you can click through to navigate through the interactive itself. If I open up the Battle of Hong Kong and click on Document 4, I add the title to the worksheet. I now see a piece of evidence and I can analyze the strengths and weaknesses of that particular piece of evidence. First we'll look at the strengths of the source. I can see that one of the strengths of the source is that this was written approximately seven months after the battle itself, which ended during what would be the Christmas holidays in 1941. Being as this was written in July of 1942, it was fairly close to the battle itself. I will make sure that I include the date in my assessment. Now what evidence can I take from this to include in my GRASP worksheet. Let's take a closer look. So again, the strength of this source is that it was written fairly close to the battle itself. And I want to be very specific about how close it was written. The weakness is that it was written by a politician, not from someone who was there, and not from a military commander who may have been closely related to this event. So immediately I'm asking what the politician's motivation for writing this piece of information was. And again, be sure to include the amount of months if you are going to comment on how close or how far away something was written to an event. Let's take a look at the claims and the evidence or lack of evidence. Remember to include your title and the claim itself. Be sure to use as much information or language from the source itself. The claim that was made by this particular source was that the military was incompetent in the Battle of Hong Kong, and that this incompetence was hidden 
from the Canadian public. The evidence, however, is missing, supporting this opinion. So we can see that this is simply an opinion with no evidence to support it. Therefore, this piece of evidence is not a strong piece of evidence. The only thing it proves is that politicians felt strongly about the fact that information was possibly hidden from the Canadian public about this battle. There's no evidence to support that. Also, this does not help to prove whether or not this battle was a specific success or failure. And therefore, probably not a piece of information that I am going to include in my final product. Let's take a look at the requirements for the final product. If we go back to Unit 3, Activity 5, and take a look at the research question you are going to use. Was the battle that I analyzed a success or failure according to the evidence that I have gathered? In your final product, you are going to submit that to the Dropbox by clicking on the blue link or on the Submit Your Work button below. Remember that you can add an audio file or a video file or record one in the place of a paragraph. Also, remember that you must submit both the GRASP worksheet and the final product to the Dropbox.